Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the house Bill Yeoman and Andre Ware built. Home to the Houston Cougars, where the fans are ready for liftoff. What a game, and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the Houston Cougars. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this... game going on the move from inside is five he was looking for more running room but none to be found as he stopped at the 23 so Utah's offense will get the first possession of the game and here he is let me tell you about this wide receiver he is a route running DB toasting Pass catching, touchdown scoring. Woo! Son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man to man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. Going to have to be really careful trying to cover that. It'll be third and short from their own 33. He'll try to get it through the air. Grabbed in the middle. It's Keithy. And the Utes get it past the sticks. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly complete. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. It's now second down after the short completion. Wants to throw. It's rising. Finds his big tight end. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. The Utes are rolling down the field. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Hand off to the lone back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And on second down for this offense. The RPO, fire complete to the left. When you reach this point in the season, these types of games, top 25 matchups, really determine whether you're going to be a contender. Yeah, and really show what you're going to be the rest of the season. How are you going to finish strong throughout the season? You're the first part of the season, now getting to the middle of the season, Palmer, getting a chance to show what you're about so you can finish strong. It's a resume builder, no doubt about it. And really, there's been so much anticipation building up to this top 25 matchup. So which team can control their emotions, I think, goes a long way in who wins this one. So Houston's offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Smith dropping to pass. They're working that left side. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. The Cougars have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. 
got it in the middle. It's York. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Second down coming up. Handoff to the lone back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll put the tight end in motion. Hand off from the gun. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Need. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Trying to escape and get it himself. Oh, he just avoided taking a big hit with the slide. Houston will be forced to punt. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And the youth brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Grabbed behind the line. It's Parks. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll run it from the gun. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Feeling some heat. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. And that is an all-too-familiar sight. Listen, this team won last week, but they gave up four sacks. They got to protect this young man early in this game. Don't set the tone, and let's not go back to last week. The Utes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. They'll wrap him up and bring him down, and that's how we'll wrap up the first quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Sometimes you see the offenses sort of settle in, find areas to probe after that first quarter. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now facing a third and long. Smith wants to throw. Dances away from the heat. Smart move to get down with the slide. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. Movement here from the tight end. Single back formation, and they give it to it. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. 
looking for space. It's Bernard. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll run play action. Quickly to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Utes will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Bernard. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. He'll try to do it himself. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. The youth send out the punt unit. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Houston offense comes onto the field. Off play action on first down. Got his man quicker. He's run out of bounds, but not the four. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's a first down. He's looking to throw it. Gets away. Slip him. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again, and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Smith dropping to pass. Buys a little time with his feet. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. He finds his man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Houston will be forced to punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. But, well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. You want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play with it himself. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. The pull and throw off the RPO. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and you never complain. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. He'll pull it down and run. They make the stop, but he knew exactly how much he needed and where he needed to get for that first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Ryan. Turns it on in midfield. They got him free for a big gator down to the 43. 
Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. To the air, it's rising. Looking to the big tight end. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And the youth have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Right back up top on second and ten. Got it. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, you! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, Phyllis, here's a final update on a top 15 clash. Nebraska endured a hostile crowd and the challenge that always comes with playing away from Memorial Stadium. And the Huskers came away with the win. It wasn't a blowout, but it is still a W. We'll see a lot of games this week, but few will have as much of an impact on the new Top 25 poll next week as this one, gentlemen. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. This time, it's complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking to scramble. At midfield, he's got room. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. Firing deep. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. This offense has a second down play. Smith wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left final seconds of the first half and they'll try to put up three and he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out between the uprights it's good and the field goal to end the half takes it to halftime We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Man, we wondered all week how this one was going to play out. And through two quarters of ball, the answer is like a good old-fashioned barn burner. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top.
And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the cage in Southeast Texas. Just about set for the second half kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments, but they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime, you riled yourselves up, you told yourself you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They go to the ground. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Smith dropping to pass. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man. It's Bernard. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. And the pressure was all over him in the blink of an eye. The defense continues to have a great game. Both defenses have played well. These offenses are going to have to change something up, protect their quarterbacks a little bit better. A third and long coming up here. They'll go to the air. Pocket starts to collapse. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Utes are on the move. going to run it. It's Randall. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. They'll give it to the back. Tackled after picking up the first down. And the Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. From the gun, running back gets to give. Powers through the defender. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Pulls it and fires to the left. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Ball at the 31, third and short coming defense trying to rise up. To the air, it's rising, getting some heat. A little screen to the running back. 
They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. He'll keep it himself. Got some room, headed to the goal line. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. The Utes are threatening on first and goal. See if they can get the edge on the jet sweep. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. If you don't tip the scales at three bills, stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. Pressure coming. And they knocked him down almost immediately. How about that from the office? Second and goal, everything says you might run the football. They try to throw it, and man, was that unsuccessful. Sit back in the pocket, just throw the football away. Don't take the sack, don't go backwards, especially inside the three-yard line, set up in such good position. Third and goal coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. In for the score. Touchdown, Utah! There have been many series, novels, movies, long form plays that have been over in shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops and they just keep making the plays and they punch it in for a touchdown. Demoralizing. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And it was capped off with the 8-yard run. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Houston offense once again. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Caught over the middle. It's York. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. From the gun. Give on the inside. Still running at the 40. He's off to the races. And what a huge play for this offense after that great run. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach. You saw it on that play. Houston going up tempo. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Smith wants to throw. Wide open downfield. And they'll move the change with the first down. That might be it for the third quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Gets it out quickly. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And the QB has had a nice drive, and this offense has been throwing the football over the yard. You want to stop that? Get pressure on him. Nice job 
getting to the quarterback affected him and even better getting him on the ground And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It's good. Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man showing great vision to find some space and put his team in much better field position. They'll run it to the right side. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's rising. Feeling some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. They're trying to get to it. And here comes the pressure and there he goes down again. The defense has had some bad stuff happen to them today. One bright spot for them has been the pass rush. They've shown the ability to get after the opposing quarterback. And the Utes will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They're setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Houston coming to the line with a new set of downs. And uh, first down for the offense. Touch pass on the run. Right. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Let's see what they've got on second down. Smith dropping to pass. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Third and short here from the 35. Might take a shot here if this is four down territory. He's going to take off. Across the 25, he's got room. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Houston is moving it quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back has it. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He'll try it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. Using his legs to buy some time. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And let's check in with Kevin Connor in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Me 
Michigan left little doubt. You know, this version of the Maze and Blue can hang with any of the teams of the past. And remember, this is a program with multiple national titles. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that. It's out as if they had a good one there. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. They made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Coming after it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? The Utes will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. He's got great speed. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Comes out throwing on first down. He'll get rid of it. Working on the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Smith wants to throw. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. And back to the air on second down. Safe completion on the screen. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he breaks into the open. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Dances away. Touchdown, Houston. And they've moved out front. They're in the fourth. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. Here's the snap, looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Trying to get it away, and he cannot. The quarterback is sacked, and so is the two-point conversion attempt. Houston, 15. Utah, 14. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Back to throw. It's rising. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Pocket starts to collapse. Going to try to get it himself. Gets down with the slide. 
Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking to the big tight end. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Ordinarily on second and ten, you might look past, but here you just want to keep that clock moving. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And off from the shotgun. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. right down the boulevard. With that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away and they've got to push the ball down the field. He's right on target. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You want to talk about building confidence? Coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.